Hey YouTube, Brian here again. Just doing a little update for you on the Holga Boomerum tank. Um, last time I showed them to you, I think, I was thinking that they were possibly getting ready to spawn again. We were seeing some behavior. As you can see, things have changed since then. we got a divider back in the tank now. Um, Mr. El Guapo over here, the male, he's just overly excited about mating, I think, and uh, was trying to force her into spawning, just continuously was rough with her. And uh, it was never too bad, and then earlier this week it got to a point where he was really, if you would have seen her on, I think it was Tuesday or Monday, her, she's really healed up a lot. Her fins were just in bad shape. She just looked just, I don't know how to explain it, but just crappy. Started wondering if, if, if um, you know... Maybe maybe she's gonna catch something because of it, you know, with with all the high stress and everything. But she's doing a lot better now. Um, since I've divided them, they haven't been really at the divider ever, um, flirting with each other or anything like that. Um, I gave her the side with the flower pot. Um, she's eating just fine, letting her heal up, and then I'll pull the divider and, and see how things go. Um, you know, their their mating colors. She was all colored up nice, looking like the look, looking like it was time to spawn, and then they, they didn't, and then they kind of, or she, he was kind of rough on her for a while, and then next thing you know, they're hanging out right next to each other all day and kind of showing spawning behavior again, and then it it just went the other direction again. And I think what it is is he's probably you know, ready, and, and she's not quite ready, and then he gets frustrated, and, and he's trying to, um, you know, nudge her into it, but he's just getting way too rough with her, so, um, you can just see the colors are way washed out now that I've divided them, really, a, really a huge change, kind of, uh, went from the goldish color to the more grayish, silverish color, which is still cool, too, but, they're growing. Um, this guy especially, he's he's putting on some he's putting on some length and some girth and everything here. Um, I haven't taken him out and measured him, but he's I'd say eight inches, nine inches. Real nice finage going on as far as his trailer up there. Um, she's not growing as fast, um, but she's going to obviously be smaller anyway. Um, she's the female, so. But yeah, that's what's going on with these guys. Um, just wanted to keep, I've had a few people asking if they've spawned, that type of thing. Um, so this is the latest. Still not going to give up. It's going to happen. Um, having real fun, you know, keeping these fish. They're, they're just great fish. Um, it's just, you know, real fun to keep. And um, this is just a little minor setback, no biggie. So, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Systems and check out their Facebook page. Make sure you check all the members of Team Aquatic Support out. Put their, all their YouTube channels down below. And uh, check out the Hydra and uh, the Cichlid Life on Block Talk Radio also. Thanks for watching.